Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to online class. I am K. Mohinu Shahin, assistant English teacher, Kiri School and College, Dhaka. Topic Future Continuous Tense in English version. Do you know what is called uh, Future Continuous Tense? What are the characteristics of Future Continuous Tense? What are the auxiliary verbs uh, of Future Continuous Tense? Okay, now I will discuss about uh, uh, those questions answer. At first, definition. Definition. The action which will be happening in the future or after now is called future continuous tense. The action which will be happening in the future, not now, after now is called future continuous tense. Okay. I will be eating rice tomorrow. He will be going to market at 8 a.m. They will be playing football. Okay. I will be going to eating rice tomorrow. It is a, a long action. We'll be go eating. We'll be eating. We'll be going. We'll be playing. Huh? Okay. A structure. Let's see the structure. At first subject plus will be plus ing form that means ing with the base form of verb plus object oblique extension of the called cp or complement phrase object extension complement phrase will not be available everywhere okay auxiliary verb everywhere will be that means uh, i will be he will be she will be you will be they will be okay again you can uh, use i shall be Okay, I uh, on Poseidon. Before uh, uh, going to the next phrase, I want to say the definition again. The action which will be happening in the future or after now, that means I have mentioned a long action. The, the long action which will, be, which will be happening in the future. Okay, only one action, not two or more actions. Okay, okay. Difference between uh, future simple and future continuous tense. This is the main part of the tense. If you, if you can understand uh, this phase, you will be able to understand uh, completely about future continuous tense. Okay, this is the main part. I will go to school is uh, future simple. I will be going to school. I will go to school short, short action is a short action. I will be going to school, going to school, long action. They will play cricket, short action. They will be going, they will be playing cricket, long action. He will sleep, short action. He will be sleeping. And here I have to mention that there, there is only one action, not more than one action, only one action. My father will go to market, short action. My father will be going, will be going to market. My father will be going to market, will be going to market. It's a long action. It's a long action. One is short action and the other is long action. My father will be going to market. Okay. You will do the work. Short action. You will be doing the work. Long action. Understand short action and long action? Okay. They will dig a pond. Short action. They will be digging a pond. Will be digging. Long action. She will buy a new dress. She will be buying a new dress. Okay, understand? In the future continuous tense, it, uh, uh, I want to say that uh, here only one point is very important that is the long action and short action. In future uh, simple tense, it's a uh, short action and future continuous tense is long action will be going, shall be going. Okay, understand? I hope it's clear. Oh, next phrase. Affirmative, uh, contra affirmative contraction form. Normal, I will be. In short, I will be. Please look at me. I will be. Three uh, part, I will be. I will be 
trisyllable. Okay. I will be three part. I'll be. I'll, I'll be two part. You will be. You will be. You will be. Okay. Contraction is a short uh, pronunciation, not a, a long pronunciation. She will be. Long pronunciation. She'll be. She'll be. Short pronunciation. Okay. Where there is contraction, your pronunciation will be very short. He will be. He'll be. Okay, understand? They will be. Long pronunciation. They will be. Short pronunciation. We will be. Long pronunciation. Will be. Short pronunciation. Rana will be. Rana. Rana will be. Rana will be. Uh, I have made contraction. Rana will be. Rana will be. Question number seven. Rana will be. Rana will be. Understand? Okay. That means whenever contraction, your pronunciation will be short. That means uh, it will be short pronunciation. Okay, next. Negative and contraction form. At the left row, there are eight uh, examples of normal, example, normal uh, sentence. And at the right row, there are negative contraction. I will be. I want to be. I want to be. Okay. Contraction, whenever contraction, it short pronunciation. You will be. Whenever negative, negative contraction, you want to be. She will be. She wants to be. He will be negative. He wants to be. They will be. They want to be. We will be. We want to be. Rana will be. Rana. Rana will be. Rana will be. Okay. Rana wants to be. I shall be. I shan't be. Okay. Shan't be. Whenever you will uh, go to answer the tag question, you have to use shan't be. Okay. Shan't or shan't be. That means uh, it is clear that whenever contraction, negative contraction, the negative contraction will be pronounced, pronounced uh, shortly. Okay. I will be. I want to be. You will be. You want to be. Okay. Understand. Next. Affirmative to negative with contraction. Affirmative from affirmative sentence, I will change it negative contraction. I will be going to school. I won't be negative contraction. I won't be going to school. They will be playing cricket. They won't be playing cricket. Understand? He will be sleeping. He won't be sleeping. Understand? Question number three. He will be sleeping. He won't be sleeping. Question number four, my father will be going to market. My father won't be going to market. You will be doing the work. You won't be doing the work. They will be digging a pond. They won't be digging a pond. She will be buying a new dress. She won't be buying a new dress. Understand? Contraction form will be pronounced uh, shortly. That means short form. Huh? I will be long form. I want to be short form okay i will be going i will be long form long action i want to be short action understand okay affirmative uh, from affirmative to interrogative uh, it's also very important uh, at the left left row there is uh, the seven questions are affirmative and right row there are seven questions are interrogative I will be going to school. Will I be going to school? Please uh, listen to and look at my uh, look at me to understand the pronunciation. Uh, what is the pronunciation here? Pronunciation. I will be going to school. Okay. Okay, look at me. I will be going to school. Why about interrogative? Will I be going to school? Will I be going to school? 
there is a stage at the beginning there is a stage will i be going to school ah, he will be playing cricket will he be playing cricket he 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 will be playing cricket will he be playing cricket okay understand ah, when about integrative sentence you have to use uh give a stage okay question number one again i will be going to school will i be going to school at the beginning there is the auxiliary verb and the end uh, in integrative sentence uh, at the beginning there is uh, auxiliary verb and at the last or end there is a there is a question mark they will be playing cricket will they be playing cricket understand he will be sleeping will he be sleeping my father will be going to market will my father be going to market understand you will be doing the work will you be doing the work they will be digging a pond will they be digging a pond she will be writing a letter will will she be writing a letter understand again i will be going to school will i be going to school they will be playing cricket will they be playing cricket he will be sleeping will he be sleeping will he be sleeping understand when about uh, you will start uh, an integrative sentence at the beginning you have to give a uh, stays you can understand okay next the use of a stator verb in future continuous tense here i have to mention the use of a stator verb in future continuous tense but uh, there is no use answer there is no a, a use of a stator verb in the in the future continuous tense in any continuous tense there is no a uh, state verb uh, uh, there is no state verb okay understand but i have uh, uh, given the example to understand you to make uh, the lesson very clearly okay future continuous tense no use of progressive form progressive form means ing form okay he will be loving his country he will love his country love is a love is a, a state verb whenever is a nested verb you cannot use progressive form that means ing with the main verb understand he will be loving his country he will love his country she will be understanding the sum no she will understand the sum understand is an ex, is a, a state verb so so you cannot use ing form a state verb will be applied only in the simple tense that means present present simple past simple or future simple okay please look at the uh, uh, row these are the future simple understand question number three she will have been a new computer no she will have been she will have a new computer she will have a new computer it's also piece, piece of perfect uh, tense she will be uh, disliking me no she will dislike me she will dislike me dislike uh, like uh, and liking is not uh, correct whenever like or dislike uh, you cannot use ing or progressive form with the main verb okay i will be seeing a bird i will see a bird that means uh, when by step verb uh, you cannot use ing uh, you cannot use ing okay understand it okay, next our class will continue please subscribe our channel next class on future continuous tense in the Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.